Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to be building a line follower robot using the MSP430 microcontroller. First let's see the outline. We are going to be speaking about the hardware requirements first and then we will be looking at the connection diagram. Later on we will see the C code for the project in Code Composer Studio and finally we will be seeing our line follower robot in action. Let's see the hardware requirements. First, you will require an MSP430 launchpad. Next, you will require a tracking module which is consisted of infrared transmitters and receivers. As you can see in the picture, there are four sensors. However, we are going to be using only two sensors, but you can use three or four according to your project as well. We will require a motor driver. In this project, I'm using an L298N model. We will require a two-wheel robot chassis plus two DC motors connected to the wheels. And finally, we will require a power supply, a 9-volt battery or a power bank, which I'm preferring. You can click on the link above to see how to make a 5-volt USB power cable and connect it to the power bank for using in your projects. Now, let's see the connection diagram. First, we need to attach our sensors to our vehicle. And then we have to connect our cables to the module. As you can see, we are using two sensors and we are using two groups of cables. First one is VCC ground and input one. Second one is the VCC ground and input two. And from the module, we have to go to our MSP430 microcontroller. In this diagram, as you can see, we have four connections. First connection is the VCC. We are going to connect it to the 5 volt on the launch pad. Second one is the ground. It goes to the ground on the launch pad. Third one is the input one. We are going to use P1.3 pin on the launch pad. And the last one is the input two and that's going to be connected to the P1.4 pin on launchpad. Next, we will see the connections for the motor driver. On the left and on the right, you can see the connections for the motors. These two connections are the enable connections. They are going to be connected to the P1.6 on the launchpad, which will be connected as the PWM in the software. The white and the gray connections that you see are going to the P2.5 and P2.4 pins on the launch pad. These are for the poles of the left motor. And the remaining white and green connections are going to the P2.3 and P2.2 pins on the launch pad. These are for the poles on the motor on the right. And finally, we are going to be seeing the power supply connections. The power supply negative pole is going to be connected as shown on the diagram. And also we are going to connect the power supply positive pole as shown in the diagram as well. As we mentioned earlier, the power supply can be a 9 volt battery or a power bank. In this project, I'm preferring to use a power bank. One thing that you have to make sure is you have to connect the negative pole of the power supply to the common ground on MSP430. Otherwise, your vehicle will not work. And for the C code that we are using on the project, you can go to the link that I provided in the video description and copy the code and paste it to your Code Composer Studio. Let's see how it's done. In this link, we can find the C code for our project. Now, let's select the code Copy it and let's open Code Composer Studio. Let's click on New Project CCS Next and let's write, for example, Line Follower. And let's delete this part and paste the code that we already copied from our link. Let's click on Save. 
and we can now click on debug button. Since I've already uploaded the code on my MSP430, I won't be clicking on proceed. Now let's see how our vehicle works.